G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I've got a bit of a different one. I've put through the whole Drift STI series into one big compilation video. Um, I think it's 21 videos all up and yeah, just made it into one big with the highlights of the full build series. It was a couple of years ago. Um, so if you don't want to go back through and watch all of that, it was a good time. There's some highs and lows and challenges I had to get through. Um, I converted my 2004 Spexy STI into a drift car and uh, yeah, had some fun along the way. Um, so yeah, enjoy me being young and awkward in front of camera. I'm still awkward in front of camera as you can tell. Um, but yeah, just 28 year old Joel doing his thing. So I hope you enjoy. And at the end, I'll just go through some questions that people have had over the years about the Drift STI. Where is it at? How much it costs? A few other things, um, just short summary of the full, full build series. So I hope you enjoy and let's get it. Hey, my name's Joel. Um, I'm a filmmaker from Brisbane in Australia. Um, I got a 2004 uh, WRX STI Spec C and I'm gonna build it into a Drift STI. Um, I've never vlogged before and I'm usually behind the camera. Um, I usually do sort of automotive uh, films. Um. T -t Today, Junior! <laughs> Previously I was a mechanic, I worked at Subaru for five years and Toyota for a year, year and a half before that. Yeah, I, I've owned my STI since 2010, um, it's been an awesome car and yeah, pretty much got to the point now where I haven't really driven it other than daily driven and they're pretty expensive to get going fast, like I'm not going to be able to beat all the Evo, the crazy cars that are out of the track. So. I decided why not, I'll just make it rear-wheel drive, um, you know, Kumi Kubo in Japan. I'm a big fan of Team Orange and yeah, um, so I've got a, a bunch of people lined up that are keen as to help me with the project, um, make sure it doesn't blow up on the first day or, you know, something dumb happens. Um, I know a lot of people are kind of against Subarus and they're all, you know, oh, they're not reliable, blah, blah. Um, so this kind of project's sort of out there to show people that they are pretty reliable. Fingers Fingers crossed, I'll probably blow it up now. I said that. Hey, welcome to episode two of Drift STI. <laughs> welcome to episode two of Drift STI. I'm Joel. Um, today we're going to be installing a Velo Racing seat. We'll also be doing an oil change and changing the spark plugs, and just doing a general maintenance check. I've got a few things that I'm going to swap over. Um, so yeah, come along.
that's the center diff that was in the car and this is the one that we're putting in um, you'll notice that this one has all of this stuff on the outside and this one doesn't so this one puts a power that this one puts power straight through this one power kind of searches so rear wheel drive or wheel drive So basically what I need to do now is order these NSK bearings um, and I'm going to press them onto the new one. I decided instead of removing the old ones and putting them on, I may as well get brand new ones just so I'm not ruining a brand new diff straight away. 
um, but I'm going to take the crown wheel off, put that onto the um, the new diff.
Lights gone. Looking good. I never missed the way. I got some mad new tires. Got the uh, semi slicks on the steer tires. So I've got the old struts here, and these are the new ones. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roughly set the new ones at sort of a similar height down here what the old ones were.
here, which I've tapped into the left hand rear ABS sensor. So I've soldered those wires together. Um, so they read off the ABS sensor. It goes back to that little unit. And then what it does is it emulates a speed signal and sends that to the cluster, which sends it to the ECU. So the ECU now goes, ah, the speed sensor is moving. It works. So it just sends me, it gives me my, my um, speedo drive, which you'll see now. But that working is like the greatest thing ever. Holy sh**. Oh, so happy. So uh, yeah, now I can put all this back together. the shot Joel It's finally time um, after eight months. First session at the drift track. So, heading out to QR for the Friday night drifts. Um, well, that's always good. Windscreen wipers got stuck, which is really weird. I'll just push them down. Ah. Uh. Cause I got a GoPro mount there. Lol. Um, all right, so I'm going to be heading to the track. Uh, I'll unload everything, get the car ready. Oh, for sake, this thing. So I'm gonna be heading to the track and uh, I'll unload everything, just get my area ready, um, and then basically warm up the car. Um, and yeah, I'll take it out for a few tra few spins. Uh, check over the car and everything. I'm just gonna be taking it really easy today um, It's obviously gonna freak me the f out. I'm not gonna know what to expect. So uh, Basically, I've adjusted the caster. So it's got a bunch more caster put the toe out um, I've taken off the front lip and the rear diffuser So, you know if I come off track or whatever, it's gonna be easy to recover um, and not destroy I think the diffuser was about a thousand bucks and um, I'm pretty sure they don't sell them anymore. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna head down to QR now, um, and yeah, let's get this party started.
halfway through the night. Um, car's going well, uh, fingers crossed, pretty happy with the, how she's been acting. Um, it needs a bit more lock. Um, I spin out a lot. Uh, it's a bit of a handful because the steering's not centering very well. So I tried to add as much caster as I could with what's the standard setup, but it looks like it's going to need to go a little bit more hectic. Um, but yeah, she fries tires well. I'm happy with the 17s on the rear. I'm about to go out for a run on the 18s on the rear with the brand new tires. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully she's got a bit more grip. Um, it's a bit tail happy. I can spin through first, second, third, fourth in with the 17s. Um, they're pretty old tires though, and they're pretty fluff. So um, yeah, we'll see how we go with that. Um, and yeah, hope you're enjoying so far. out of Queensland Raceway and uh, we're gonna go on uh, drifting night number two. Uh, got the Zumi also out here. Got these guys with their A86. Top five videos. Alright. Got the neons. Yeah, should be fun. Come and set me free.
cars up on stands. Um, so what happened was, uh, basically, I don't know whether you can see it, um, all of my crown wheel bolts have stripped. And uh, basically that has caused my crown wheel to come loose. It flung a um, crown wheel bolt out and I'll find the broken one. And it cracked. Uh, you can see that there. Cracked it. Pretty bad. Um, so what I've done basically is I was able to go and grab another div thanks to a bunch of really helpful people. And I'm gonna swap the Cusco internals into the new diff and then uh, put the diff back into the car and it all should be good. So, uh, yeah. All right, so it's day two. Um, I have managed to get this uh, diff back in with the help of Jesse. Thanks so much to him last night for, um, yeah, basically just put it in the hard yards with me and just helping me get it back together and in. Um, really appreciate it. And it's now all good running. I just took it out for like one or two laps to make sure it was all good. And um, now hopefully today it's going to be running well, fingers crossed. Um, so today's weather looks a little bit better. It's still really foggy, but it's meant to be uh, dry today compared to yesterday, which was absolutely pissing down rain. I think being really cold and wet yesterday worked to my advantage because my diff would have just exploded. Um, so rather than what happened, which was just the crack and yeah, the crown bolts uh, stripping, the two-way feels fine now. I've got my new shafts in as well. Um, so now the whole rear end, new rear, new shafts, uh, new diff, well not new, but you know, secondhand diff that seemed to have a lot better play than my original diff did. So that was one plus. And uh, yeah, it's all back together and ready for some fun. So I'm gonna clean the car and um, yeah, I'll, I'll try and get a fair bit more video today than I did yesterday, being that, you know, it was such a stressful day of trying to fix everything. And uh, yeah, let's do it.
best time, met the best people, um, had so much help from everyone, learned a whole heap about um, the Subi, driving home at the moment in it, really happy with how it went in the afternoon. I wish I could have filmed more of the afternoon session because I finally mastered the track. We're always going to be going out and I'll hopefully be able to film a bit more of the car as, as time goes on and um, yeah. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time on Drift Test.
bit of an eventful uh, occurrence. I'm currently on the back of the tow truck. Engine's all good, but um, one of the blocking plates that's in my front uh, like hub has come loose. Um, I'm really hoping I haven't cooked the bearing because it was like seizing. So knowing my luck, I have completely the front bearing and I drove here, so that'll be fun. And um, so I'm just getting taken back right now to the pit bay by a bit of a tow truck going on here. Um, and yeah, we'll figure out what's uh, happening. So, hooray, super <laughs> That's my wheel bearing. So, that's fucked. And I'm stuck here. Yes. Well, tonight was not ideal. Um, had a left front wheel bearing explode. And it was basically, I think what happened was it overheated and has just come apart. Um, so it's, yeah, that was a bit of fun. Um, I actually thought when it happened, I thought that one of the wheels had come off because it was just so like hectic and grinding all of a sudden. And I've been in cars with wheels that come off before and it sounded the same. So I was like, oh, far out. But um, yeah, no, wheel bearings munted. Um, right now I'm just outside Queensland Raceway. I managed to kind of drag it out front because they have to close up the place not not, to, not a great way to end the night but I mean at the end of the day the car's still fine um, it's parts that I can replace quite easily luckily and um, yeah So yeah, that's the full extent of the damage from the STI. Um, hope you enjoyed the episode and thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time on Drift STI. All right, we're back. Um, yeah, that was a great reliving that whole memory of everything that went on. Um, I guess you're probably wondering, you know, what happened after the wheel bearing failure? Well, um, so I thought it was going to be a pretty easy fix. Usually in that situation, you would just replace the wheel bearings, chuck the hub back in or get a new hub. Um, and then, uh, yeah, Bob's your uncle catch with that is, is that it actually had chewed out the hub, like surround housing itself. Um, I searched a fair few places to get a new hub, uh, for the car, but unfortunately, because it was a bit of a niche spec car, it was a 2004 spec C. So it had a different hub to your standard WRX and also your 2004 STI of the same sort of generation. They changed a lot between 2003, 2004 and 2005. So getting parts was just really hard. So I ended up actually getting a hub from Japan for through Subaru, which was expensive, but also it took eight months to come in. So, I mean, I, I was at without the car for eight months and um, I wasn't really able to make content with it. So I went back to doing my film, my um, usual sort of cinematic stuff that I'll also do on the side. Um, and I was also going through a bit of a, a pretty bad breakup at the same time. So yeah, it, it was a lot. Um, I was losing a lot of my, 
uh, I guess, love for doing film and that sort of stuff at that time. So yeah, once I got it and put it all back together, I didn't really want to pick up the camera and get back into it. So I actually ended up putting the car back to all wheel drive and getting it cleaned up, uh, around that time as well too, the 2020 hit and you know what happened to the world there. Um, and yeah, the car prices just really started skyrocketing. So, um, I actually ended up selling it for a fair amount more than what I actually bought it for in 2010. So, I mean, the car was great. Um, I miss it. I wish I didn't get rid of it now in hindsight, but it really set me up to my 2023 WRX that I have now, which is great. Um, and I'm enjoying the content that I'm making with that car now. So looking forward to putting out more stuff for that in the future and also doing a little bit more in the Subaru realms, something similar to Drift STI, but I guess it, you know, money pending, this isn't my full-time job. This is just something that I like doing. So hopefully you guys find value in what it is that I'm putting out. Um, I really appreciate if you got to this point in the video and you're still listening to me. Um, but yeah, I guess to answer some questions that I've had over the years about the Drift STI, how much did it cost to get to that point? Um, I mean, aside from buying the car and all of the mods that I actually did in the couple of years prior to that, I bought it in 2010. Um, and I probably spent, I don't even know how much money I spent on the car up till about 2017. Uh, when I decided to do it, but I'd already done a fair amount. I'd done all the brakes and all of the intercoolers and upgraded injectors and all sorts of stuff like that. Had it tuned and exhaust and everything. Um, but once I started the Drift STI project, um, I would say it probably cost me around 25 grand, um, which is an expensive amount to pay if you could if you think about 25 grand, it's a big a lot a big sum of money. But um, it was actually just you know, small chunks at a time. It wasn't all at once. So, um, the whole project itself probably took about 12 months, um, that you all just watched then. So, um, it was sort of broken down bit by bit, which is why it would explain that I did certain things at times and that could have just been done at once. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. I had a great time doing it. I made a lot of friends and I made a lot of networks in the car scene from doing that. It was, it was great. Um, yeah, I just, I guess, you know, life happens and, uh, sometimes you got to just make a decision and move on. So, um, yeah, what happened after that is I hung up my camera for a couple of years. Um, I work in sort of an office logistics environment at the moment. So I worked on that pretty hard and I decided, you know what, I want to pick up the camera again. Perfect timing. I bought a brand new 2023 WRX. So that's when I started making videos again. And I thought it'd give you guys some value if I actually wrapped the whole season up and gave you a bit of a why, what happened. Um, didn't leave you on the cliffhanger and just never talk about it again. So, um, yeah, what's coming from here, I guess. Um, I've still got some more videos coming out on the 2023 WRX. So please check them out if that's something that you're interested in as well. Um, I'm looking into some other projects that I can do in the future in regards to the Subaru platform. It's what I sort of niche specialize in. So I'm going to keep going on that, that sort of momentum that I've got going there. Um, and yeah, I'll, uh, try and give you guys as much value, um, as I can, um, I love YouTube, I love filmmaking and I love working on cars. So it's, yeah, just the perfect combination of a great hobby to do. This isn't my full full time gig. Um, uh, hopefully one day it could be. Um, so yeah, I, I really uh, appreciate it if you got to this point and, um, yeah, if you, if you'd like it, please subscribe to the channel. Um, I've got a lot more coming. Um, I've been working on some merch stuff to try and fund a little bit of the, uh, YouTube side of things is the back of one of the t-shirts that I've designed. Um, keeping that Subaru themed and yeah, I don't know. I'll uh, let you know if I end up releasing it all at the moment, uh, or if not, but yeah. So thanks heaps for watching and listening to me blab on. And I really appreciate it if you got to this point and yeah, uh, I guess that's the end of drift STI, but there's more coming in the future. So I'll catch you next time. Thanks heaps.
and I'll see you next time on Drift STI. I'll see you next time on Drift STI. And I'll see you next time on Drift STI. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Drift STI.